All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round. Looks like we got Sm and Koopa, Downtown 6, so I'll keep the water skip, Highlander Ridge, and Ikigai Springs. So we got some tough competition. Sorry it's been a few days since I recorded a multiplayer round. Just got busy with life and Valley League and everything else, but just haven't posted around in a few days, so I figure it's time. Me and Smu were just talking about this hole. That's funny and how much I hate it. I was just able to tie him in a round where this was the last hole and he got stuck in those bushes on the right. But let's see if we can get this. I'm going to go straight down with the water skip gold. Seems to get better ground play than the glide roll arrive. Seems to kind of want to roll to the... Oh man, caught the pole there. Looks like, oh, Koopa overshot his 62 feet. Hopefully we don't screw this up. Able to get the birdie there. So it looks like mine and Smuzz talking about this hole gave us some good vibes and some good luck on it. <laughs> Definitely will always be one of my least favorite holes in the game. He was talking about how the sword is a great disc for that hole, so I have to give that a try if it comes up in an event. All right, so big tailwind here, so definitely don't need much off the tee. I'm just going to go glide sapphire. Just put it out there in the gap, and we should be able to make it work as long as we don't get too close to the fence. Oh, man, I think we're up the hill far enough. Just going to have to deal with these trees a little bit. Huh. I'm going to... A couple different things. I go over the top, or I can go wide. I think I'm going to go wide with the, the water skip and take some off here. Power down, water skip. It should be able to get there with one skip. Like so. Koopa, I'm not sure what happened there. Smug got his eagle and I'm able to capitalize and get mine. Kind of a tricky second shot but it worked out just fine for me. Par 3 coming up. Let's see which one it is and if it's something we feel good about running or not. Definitely not super confident about running it in this wind. And I'm trying to decide which line I want to go with here. I'm going to go with just a really low line. And put quite a bit of hyzer on it. Hopefully it's enough hyzer. Shoot, it's going to catch that bridge. Okay, phew. Sometimes you get a big old skip off that bridge and goes past the bridge. Luckily that didn't happen there and the bridge helped me out. So some good luck there. The other two were able to get their birdies. So we're tied. Smoo and I at four under after downtown. I think Highlander Ridge was next. Yes indeed. This one got to be a little careful with this wind. Sometimes the Vandal will go a little bit long. But I'm going to just power down just a hair. Shouldn't have to put too much hyzer on it because that wind's going to make it stable, especially when I power it down a little bit. So that worked out nicely. We'll get our birdie. Looks like Smuzz right there in the middle. Safe. So he should be finishing off shortly. Oh, did he roll down? Oh, seemed to be coming from farther than where his disc looked like it was, but either way, he got the birdie. Next hole... Not going to go for it in this wind, plus I don't have the PD, which I'm a lot better with it. I'm a lot better running this one when I have the PD. Looks like Koopa's going for it, since he's down a couple strokes. I'm just going to be throwing it up there for the birdie. Koopa was able to run it and still stay safe. It's not the safest run, but it is possible to, uh, dang... Hate to get a stroke like that. That can be tough downhill and a tailwind. It's just hard to judge sometimes, and it looks like he caught that top band. So, luckily, I'm the benefactor of that, and I get a stroke lead. This one, I'm gonna feel pretty confident in this one headwind to to pull straight down on this, even though it's not a roll vandal. Put a touch of hyzer just because it's a little bit of right to left, and hopefully this stops for me. Oh, stopped a little shorter than I thought it would. 66 feet. And we got that one to go dead center. 
So after Highlander Ridge, we come away with a one-shot lead over Sma and a two-shot lead over Koopa. And to close out, we got Ikigai Springs. So for this wind, I think I'm going to go glide turn just to keep it nice and straight. Don't want to turn it too much because you don't want to hit those rocks on the right. But it's nice to keep it straighter versus a more stable disc like the light glide like I usually throw. 300 feet so we don't have to throw much here. I'm just going to throw the, the Svea. Make sure I turn it into that big right to left tailwind to keep it nice and straight. And that'll work out nicely. Get our birdie. Two holes to go. I don't remember which holes they are. But we're ending on a par 5. So we'll see which one that is if it makes this interesting. This one can be tough depending on the wind. With this wind here. I'm going to pull straight down maybe a touch of Annie on this glide turn rive just to make sure it stays left through the gap and doesn't start to fade out early. That worked out nicely. We're going to have to make our way around this tree with a little rotate the world action. Make sure I'm aiming low enough. And, oh man. Did they both? Oh, they both. I think they both ended up down in the water. Looks like Smu missed the Mando. And Koopa had one of those horrible breaks where you roll way down the hill into the water. Some tough breaks on their end. And luckily we get the easier of the two par fives. Just to, as far as separation, this is the one you want if you have a lead. The other one's easier, you can get an eagle, but sometimes it can be a challenging eagle. And when you have a lead, you want a hole like this to where as long as you play it smart, you're gonna come away with a birdie and it's near impossible for your competition to, to get a stroke on you. Although behind this rock is not the best place. This looks like it'll be good. That's a tough shot when you gotta throw it so high, but I've been there enough to where I pretty practiced at it and was able to get it right down the middle of the fairway. From here, always plays way uphill. I add like at least 100 feet to it. I'm gonna go with the water skip gold just on a big hyzer around the trees and we'll get up here by the basket and finish this off. So definitely lucked out. Usually those two are really hard to beat. I made a few mistakes and got a tough couple really bad breaks that benefited me. So I will take that. Take a look at the leaderboard since I haven't recorded around in a while. Man, last night I climbed back up. I was down to like 840 something and I climbed up yesterday. I was almost going to hit 900. And then I started dropping again, so I'm trying to climb back up again. I think I'm somewhere in the, the 880s right now. Oh, it looks like John just passed me as I opened it up. 885, Daniel's pulling away. He's a stud this season. Not that he hasn't been every season, but he's just pulling away a little, a little more each day. Looks like Mark started playing again finally, so that'll make things interesting. He'll probably start to climb up and give Daniel a run for his money. He's sitting at 875. He was at 8.42 for, I don't know, at least a week now, just kind of hanging out, waiting for people to, to catch up to him. So there we are in fourth place. Not too shabby. Let's see where uh, there's Smoo at 8.51. Did I see Koopa yet? So we played number 16. And Koopa, where you at? And number 34. But obviously these rankings change every day. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it's been a few days since I posted. But as always, appreciate the love and support, and thanks for watching me play some DGV.